probably help with the bot testing too. But before we get to that, let's see how she's doing. Hmm. Pretty as a picture. Got nothing bad to say. These bots aren't designed to operate outside the network service area. So let's get the distro center linked up already. And there it is. I'll start prepping for the tests. You sit tight and wait for HQ to ring. Much obliged, Sam. Now the boss can enter the final phase of testing. I designed them myself, you know. My hope is that they'll lighten the load a little bit. Unlike human quarters, if one goes down, it won't cause a void out. Before the death stranding, 
Scientists used to fret over the singularity, the possibility that someone might create an AI smarter than any human, but it never happened. Machines don't cause void outs. They can't die. They don't have beaches. No matter how far they come, machines will never understand death like we do. And because of that, they'll never truly surpass us. Get on the delivery terminal. I'll walk you through how to use the bots. And don't worry, I'll keep an eye on things from over here. Simple, run-of-the-mill orders only. Take a look at what's available. Cargo transported by a bot is liable to get a little roughed up if the road's poor. On the flip side, a bot traveling on a well-maintained road is more likely to deliver cargo in better shape. Also faster, in case it wasn't obvious. Keep that in mind when sending them out. Now we wait for the delivery bot to reach its destination. As of today, there's just one, but if the test succeeds, we'll move ahead with mass production. Then you'll be able to dispatch them yourself. Oh, um, seems I misspoke. We managed to slap together another delivery bot for field testing. You can decide how to use this one. <sighs> Sorry, baby's fussing again. Thanks, Sam. We'll talk later. Good work, Sam. These are